Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Glenn. Today I'm going to be showing you a camera from Alter Astro, which is their full frame camera, one shot colour, and it's a 24 CFX. So I'm going to tell you all about this camera and show you some images from it. My name's Glenn, you're watching Astro Bloke. Altair Astro's 24CFX. This is a full frame camera, and uh, as you can see there, an absolutely gorgeous full size sensor. And it's based on Sony's IMX410 sensor. It's one shot color, and it's back illuminated, so you've got zero amp glow. It's an absolutely gorgeous camera, and I've uh, really enjoyed using this camera it's taken some absolutely stunning images and um, yeah it's uh, I really really do like it and it's been a lovely opportunity to use a full frame camera I'm going to be rather upset when I give this back as I say it is back illuminated so there's zero amp go but there's some other features about the sensor which are really nice and it's got a very large pixel scale so the pixel size is 5.94 um, which is a lot larger than any of the other cameras I've ever owned or used. And uh, those large pixels really do lend themselves to bringing in as much light as possible and lots of colour and detail, but without actually introducing much noise. So it's a very low noise camera, but brings in an immense amount of detail. In fact, the full well depth of this camera is 104,000 electrons, which uh, is huge, uh, and it's a lot larger than a lot of the other cameras I've ever used. You can use this straight from the box. You don't need to um, add filters or anything because the sensor window, not only is it heated, but it's got a built-in UV IR cut filter, so you can literally put this straight on your scope and start imaging. However, this does pair really well with uh, other filters. So um, Altair have lent me um, a dual narrowband filter, which I've used with this camera, and also a really nice new filter they're working on, an RGB filter for more broadband targets. And that really does let through some, uh, a lot of detail and light, and it captures some really vibrant colors, and it's uh, been a really nice combination. The camera has tech cooling, so it will chill to minus 35 degrees Celsius from its ambient temperature. And like all Altair cameras, it comes in an armoured case. You get your power supply, you get a USB 3 lead. You also get the discs uh, with the drivers on there as a backup, although you can download all of the software from their website. But one of the really nice things that the camera comes with is an annual or a one year license to SharpCat Pro. Now this is a very powerful program and has got some lovely features. And one of the features that I particularly like in it is it's got a sensor analysis. So what this will do is it will look at your sensor and it will have a look at all the data from it and give you the best setting that you can get for it to give you the best results. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this camera into uh, SharpCap and into the sensor analysis and we're going to have a look at this sensor and see where the level is for this camera to actually be set at. Before I do this I just want to discuss one thing about these cameras is that the, they come with a couple of extra modes that you can switch on. So you've got an ultra low read noise mode and then for deep sky imaging you've actually got a high conversion gain mode. Now all cameras come with this mode, but a lot of them, it's embedded within their drivers, so they automatically switch on at a certain level, which is fine, it saves you having to think about it or when to put it on. With the Altair cameras, you have a choice to turn this on manually or leave it off. So in a low conversion gain setting, um, what you've got there is you can take long exposures, but you've got a much larger well depth, so there could be an instance where you're uh, imaging very bright stars and you want to get all the colors from them and low conversion gain might be the uh, setting you want for that. Now the problem you have with the cameras where it's built into the um, drivers is you haven't got the ability to turn it off. With the Altair camera you do. You can decide to have it on or turn it off. 
Now for deep sky imaging, it is recommended that high conversion gain is switched on. So that is what you would do with these cameras. And um, what high conversion gain does is it's at the point where the camera, the brightness, you can bring the brightness up without introducing noise. And uh, what you end up doing is swamping the read noise and that comes all the way down and you end up getting more information uh, per sub from your camera. When we do the sensor analysis, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to set these cameras up so that you get the best results from them. Okay, so you need a good even light source to run the sensor analysis, and I'm using a flat panel that I own. Um, however, when I put the camera on there, uh, sharp cap's telling me it's too bright, and it will basically monitor the level of the brightness and get it to where we need it so it can take the right lengths uh, exposures. So piece of white paper, just been folding it and putting it back on and letting it retest it and uh, it's now folded that many times, which is about four times, and I can now sit the uh, camera on there, and just make sure everything's nice and stable, and that gives me the right illumination. So I'm now gonna start that, and we can see what we get back from the graph. Okay, so Sharp Cap now wants me to uh, kill the light and cover the lens so that it can do the dark side of its uh, analysis. Just leaving it face down like that should be more than adequate. So I'm just gonna let, let this now proceed. It's finished its first two stages. It now wants me to uncover the sensor again so that it can do the gain settings. So if I just put the light source back on, that's doing the equivalent. I can press proceed and we can let it finalize its uh, analysis of the sensor. Okay, here are the results from the sensor analysis. Now don't be put off by all the uh, numbers, it can look a bit overwhelming. But what we're really looking at is the point in the graph where those, uh, the red crosses drop right the way down, because that's your read noise. And if you look here at 520 gain, you can see that we're getting the read noise down to 1.52 from 4.88, there's a huge drop there. So this is the level where we wanna be setting our gain. Now, if we look at the website on Altair Astro, you can see that it mentions that the uh, multiplication on the high conversion gain for this camera is 4.3 approximately. So what you wanna do, uh, if you're in, say, something like SharpCap, that's turning on the HCG automatically, that's built in, because it has to do it for all the different makes. With Nina, this is a manual switch. So you'll see it on Nina, you'll see that you've got the button to turn it on or turn it off. Now, if you turn it on, 
what you will need to do is adjust your gain by the multiplication that's given for the camera. So if we take 520 and divide it by 4.3, we actually get the gain we should be setting it at in Nina with the high conversion gain on. So we would set this camera around 120 gain and we would switch the high conversion gain on. Now what offset should we use? Well the offset basically just keeps the information, um, if you're not sure what this does, it actually stops the information from being cut off at the low end of the histogram. So what we really need to do is we can start off with something like say 50 and then we can just see what the histogram looks like. And if it's not off the left hand side of the, of the histogram, we know we're not cutting off any of the image, uh, any of the information. We're not clipping those dark levels. So we just need to make sure that it's off the left hand side so we can have a look at that by just taking a, a, a sub and seeing what it comes back like. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you some images I've taken with this camera. Um, I've had this on Altair's 70 EDQ, which was a really lovely pairing because it gave a beautiful wide field shot. Um, but I've also had this on my 10 inch Newtonian scope, my Orion Optic CT10, um, and that took some really lovely images too. So I've got uh, a few images to share with you. Some of them have got a lot of data acquisition, some not so many. I've just had to grab what times I could uh, with the weather because it's been very changeable of late, as I'm sure you all know. Um, but I really hope you enjoy the images. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comment section below. I do like, I do read all of them, and I will respond uh, if I can. And of course, don't forget to check out Altair Astro's website where they've got a massive selection of equipment and cameras and some great deals. So it's well worth taking a look. And until next time, please take care. And of course, clear skies.